Howdy do, everybody. It's Patty Stash coming at you on a beautiful Friday. It's not actually beautiful. It's starting to rain, but it's okay. Uh, Bitcoin uh, is starting to turn back up. Mm, that's surprising. Who, who would have known that? <laughs> anyway, um, it was very, very predictable uh, based on the, the pattern the, the technical analysis that was developing on the chart for Bitcoin was apparently obvious that it was going to start to go higher. And um, I made uh, a couple posts basically saying, hey, guys, you see this right here? This is what's going to happen. And then I actually made a post saying, like, the window's going to close. You've been warned. And then less than three hours later, for the first time in like five or six days, the price broke that resistance that I said it was going to break. How did I know it was going to break it at that time? Because I've seen that set up a million times. So now that Bitcoin is starting to reverse and go higher again, altcoins are beginning to go higher again. So this brings me back to the same thing I think I've mentioned every day for the past straight week, maybe in a video. When Bitcoin gets back to 66,000 and eventually breaks it, that 66, 67,000 range, that will mean for the first time since March, Bitcoin broke the channel and made a higher, well, not a higher high yet, but it will have broken out of the channel and broke that level of resistance for the first time since March. Now, what does that mean? That means that Bitcoin goes higher. And when Bitcoin goes higher and you've got a day where Bitcoin's up 9 or 10%, it's everywhere on the news. You know how I know that this shit happens? My dad. My dad's been in the stock market for fucking 100,000 years. He hated the idea of crypto, of Bitcoin. Eh, it's a scam, it's a scam. And I'm like, just like, well, explain it to me. And he's like, I don't need to, it's a scam. And I'm like, just shut up. But then all of a sudden, after a few years of my persistence and my nagging and the TV talking about Bitcoin, my dad starts going, hey, I'm noticing this more and more about Bitcoin. It's a Bitcoin thing. And I go, yeah, dad, I'm telling you, it's like, it's a big deal. It's going to be a big thing. I've been telling you fucking for years, but you don't like it. And he's like, yeah, and he's like, you know, I don't understand it. But it doesn't matter because every time Bitcoin goes up, I get a phone call from my dad and he goes, He's like, I know Bitcoin's up. He's like, does that help you? Does that help you? And I'm like, yeah, that helps me. And I go, a rising tide lifts all boats. That helps me. Jesus, this is the second time. Time, light turns green, nobody drives. Everybody's dicking around. Everybody's on their phones. But, um, so anyway, Bitcoin's starting to move back higher. It's going to eventually break that 66, 67,000 range. And when that happens, what do you think happens next? The media goes crazy. And then people around the world start talking about Bitcoin and crypto. It starts to go higher. People start making money. Once people start making money, they start giving advice to others on how they can make money. And then before you know it, there's going to be a period of time. If history repeats like it's done for 12 years... There's going to be a small window where literally everything is just going higher. Everyone around the world is talking crypto. Everyone that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing is putting their money into the market. Many of them will lose their money because they're literally the exit liquidity for the people that have been patient for four fucking years waiting for this moment. That's it. It's that easy. So it's like, by 2025, what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm probably going to be selling out a lot of positions that I have. And I've said this a fucking million times because everything is cyclical. No matter how great your token is, it doesn't fucking matter because there's a four-year cycle due to Bitcoin. Everything else follows Bitcoin. Is that going to change in the future? I would think so. This is still a relatively new technology. It's still new to everybody. The stock market's been around for well over 100 years. And it's like... Hey, stock market still stock market. Like, think about the internet. You know, when the internet came out, how many years ago people were saying, is the internet going to last? Now here we are, you know, fucking 30 something years later. And it's like the internet's at its pinnacle now. Like, 
you know, the internet's bigger than it's ever been. And people were saying, like, it's not going to exist, like, whatever. So I believe that same thing is going to happen with cryptocurrency market, digital currencies. I do think that there's going to be regulation at some point that's going to clamp down. And I do think that that's still years away. And I do think that that is a bad thing because blockchain, it's a record keeper, you know? So it's like if everybody has their own blockchain or everybody has their own wallet through a blockchain and it becomes this, you know, fundamental thing that everyone has Americans or whatever country you're from, you have to do it. Like, you know, you see they're doing it in China. Like, it's not good. It's like, you know, you're using facial recognition scanners, scanning people's faces. And it's like, if you do, you know, big things, like it brings down your social score, you're not able to purchase things, like it's fucking a totalitarian type fucking government where you're like under complete control and it sucks, but I think that that's like going to happen everywhere in the, around the world, like we're going to have this weird dystopian future maybe, I don't fucking know, anyway, we are going into like the idiocracy of society where people are getting dumber. It's like, I don't know if they're getting dumber or they're just, like, accepting that because everyone else is stupid, like, they act stupid as well. Like, there's nothing worse than someone doing something they probably shouldn't be doing and knowing they shouldn't do it, and they do it, but then they, like, make money doing it, even though it's a scummy thing to do, and then other people see that person doing that, and then they do it, and they're making money, and it's like everybody's a scumbag, and they start making money in these really fucking shady ways, and then all of a sudden... Everything goes to shit, and people go, why did everything go to shit? It's because those fucking individuals that were willing to do the shit that they knew was not right, whatever, and they did it because it was an easy way out, that's why. And that's why society's becoming fucked up, because everybody's struggling, people are going to these extremes, doing things that they typically wouldn't do, but because everybody's on the same fucking field, they're all doing it, and it's like, it's okay. But it's not okay, and that's what leads to shit. What is it? Weak men make hard times. Hard times make strong men. Strong men make good times. Good times make weak men, etc., etc. It makes so much sense. We are in an area right now where everybody's a weak pussy, and it's like, that's just how it is. Anyway, getting too far off topic now. Crypto, it's good. <laughs>